Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Welcome to another Juice Motor Parts tutorial. And today I want to answer a question that I've been hearing a lot um, in the two-stroke community, at least on behalf of these motorized bicycle engines. I want to talk about uh, a big bore kit upgrade. I'm going to talk a little bit about you know, how possible it is you know, and what my opinions are about it. So for starters, um, the key here, I mean at least for most you know, two-stroke enthusiasts, is you want to squeeze as much power as you can out of, a, out of an engine. So that includes compression upgrades, upgrading the carb, expansion chamber, etc., etc. Something that has been going by was, is there an available big bore kit for these motorized bicycle two-stroke engines? Because for the CAG engines, the ones you'll find in uh, the small little, little like pocket bikes and so on and so forth, they have big bore kit upgrades. Do we have any? Uh, so the answer to that question is no. There is no really upgrade big bore kit that you can do right out of the box from a traditional seller, at least at this point. The date now is around July 15, 2011. So there's no, there's no big bore upgrade kit as of that um, point, as of, as of now at least. However, um, there's another question that has been coming a lot is, is it possible to, you know, if we could bore out the traditional, uh, the traditional cylinder on our motorized bicycle kits? <clears throat> the answer to that question is yeah, you guessed it right. No, you can't. See, with these cylinders, this is a traditional cylinder you find in a motorized bicycle engine. Uh, it is a aluminum cylinder with a chrome-plated inside. Uh, cr yeah, chrome, chrome-plated. So um, this obviously you know reduces the friction of the piston going up and down. You have cast iron, uh, cast iron rings. So the thing was the thing with this with this lining on the inside is the moment time you run any kind of uh, any kind of boring tool on a lathe or whatever it is that you're doing this thing begins to crack and begins to shatter so you can't increase the diameter of this <clears throat> with it, of this material because of that thin layer of chrome on the inside that's plated with so you know it's it's really sad to say um, I'm sure you know at some point soon somebody will you know come up with a you know a way or a product who knows so as of now using standard uh, the standard cylinders that, that you can buy you, you cannot bore these out because you end up destroying it um, after a while you start to see the chrome on the inside begin to chip. However, what you could do <clears throat> is what I have here. And these are called boost boards. The CAG engines, the pocket bike engines also use them as well. They are little grooves that you find that you can make um, and what they do is they act as sort of secondary transfer ports. Um, as you can see uh, through the inside here, uh, this is my this is one of the one of my transfer ports on the side here. So with these grooves, they assist in um, letting the engine breathe better, and uh, the, yeah, they they could definitely increase top end uh, top end performance. You know, we're we're actually doing tests right now to verify that you know these boost ports um, actually are are productive and you know they they yield results. The key though with these boost ports is that you need to have something called a reed valve. A reed valve is basically a one way flowing valve that you connect to your carburetor. Um, what that allows is it allows fuel not to go back through the carburetor, which is um, which is a common occurrence with two-stroke engines because of the way that it breathes. So with these boost ports, um, they assist. They like secondary transports, and they could definitely increase um, help increase your performance. <clears throat> They're a little tricky to uh, to make. I use a Dremel tool um, with a really co conical shaping bit, and just kind of rolled up there with that on both sides try to have them as equal equally spaced as possible um, this is just a test cylinder so uh, before uh, you, you actually try anything I, I would you know, I, at least with this cylinder it's, there's some imperfections in it so we just use it for demonstration purposes at this point it makes a fine paperweight at least so um, to answer the big board question I don't physically think that it's possible because this material begins to chip once you put a boring bar but um, what you could do as another alternative is Push, which is a German moped brand. They sell very similar um, products that can be retrofitted on our motorized bicycle engine. And you can use those, those Push parts. Um, in particular, they probably have bigger diameter cylinders that can possibly fit this bolt pattern. And um, I, I think I read of one or two people actually trying to get those retrofitted. So that's a possibility. But as of now, um, there are no big bore kits, unfortunately but I'm sure you can rig something together depending on your skill. 
And uh, that's what I want to close today with. So I want to thank you guys again for your attention. Uh, this has been another Juice Motor, Motor Parts tutorial. <clears throat> we appreciate uh, your, your viewing and we appreciate your, all, all of our subscribers. And uh, if you have any questions, as usual, you know, feel free to shoot us an email at juice, juicemotorparts.com or just leave us a comment. And as always, get juiced. <laughs>